story of survival you will see only on 10. An 84-year-old man arrives home and is attacked in broad daylight. Turns out his assailants wanted his car. Luckily, someone called 911 and he was taken to the hospital. Turn on your side, Jason Marks talked with the victim today. Jason, how is he doing? Anita, he's in really good spirits. He does have some bruising on his face. He has eight stitches to cover up the gash that is in his head. But I can tell you, he told me that this is just one of life's obstacles. I've never felt that my age. For Chesapeake's Lewis Fisher, age is just a number. I get people tell me all the time, you look like you're about 50. Nope, not 50. Try 84. And he's lived in the same place on Scotia Drive since 1958. I've been here a long time. But yesterday, he had a first. I'm parking right up here next to the house. Fisher came home around 3 in the afternoon from the store, parked his car, and headed to the front door. And he peeked around the corner. So I went around there to find out what he was doing in my backyard. That's when the young suspect punched the senior citizen in the head. Another suspect came from the other direction, swinging. I think with a, a pipe or something. I don't know. But I know he hit me in the head and split my head wide open. Fisher was knocked to the ground. The suspects continued to kick him. And I was hollering, help help when they were beating on me and nobody heard me. The two young people took his wallet, keys, and then drove off in his car. They must have been on a joyride, but why beat me up to steal a car and go for a joyride? The car was found a short time later in Norfolk, but the suspects are still out there. I want them caught. I really do. For the first time in 58 years, Fisher's feeling something new. It's a shame when you, you can't go home and feel safe. What they didn't take is his sense of humor. I think they must have thought I was younger than I was because they kept pounding on me. <laughs> Still with a smile after all he's been through. It's happened. Um, I'm not glad it's happened, but at the same time, you know, you have to go, go, with, the, go with the punches. <laughs> And as we mentioned, police did find his car over on Church Street in Norfolk, but he does believe that the suspects have to live close to him. If you have any information, give the crime line a call. We're live in Chesapeake, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.